फाइव बुक्स दर आई रेड रिसेंटली दोस्तों पांच किताबें जो मैंने अभी पढ़ी फाइव बुक्स दर आई रेड रिसेंटली जिससे आई फील इट्स रियली गुड फॉर सेल्फ डेवलपमेंट सेल्फ ग्रोथ जो इस चैनल का ऑब्जेक्टिव है मैं ये नहीं है कि मेरे को ही सारा ज्ञान है दुनिया का और मेरे चैनल पर ही आपको सारा सेल्फ डेवलपमेंट का ज्ञान मिल रहा है आई एम वेरी ओपन टू पीपल मेकिंग गुड कंटेंट एल्सवेयर एंड आल्सो लाइक राइटिंग बुक्स आर्टिकल्स एनीथिंग अगर कुछ मेरे को लगता है कि दिस कैन हेल्प पीपल आई वांट टू शेयर इट फर्स्ट आई रीड इट ऑफकोर्स एंड इफ आई रीड अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स एंड इफ आई फील दिस वॉज रियली गुड और वर्थ शेयरिंग देन आई शेयर विद यू आई एम शेयरिंग विद यू फाइव बुक्स दैट आई हैव रेड in the recent past i i think these books are all very different all are different um, difficulties of reading some are very easy some are like little more involved i'll tell you jaise main bataunga aapko and all these five books i think have really helped me grow as an individual so i'm going to be sharing these five books with you uh, there are more it's not like i have more than i have many more books i'd love to share with you but if you like this video then and i get a good response to this video please do give in the comments what you think of it tab main i will share more books with you guys that i have read and and that have really helped me grow as a person this i i can also share fiction and other books but kyunki is channel ka this purpose of this channel is to uh, for self growth self development so i would obviously like to share more books in that category so the first book i have read is called outlive and um, this is uh, the book uh, which is actually the full name is outlive the science and art of longevity uh, it is by book by bill gifford and peter atia peter atia is a doctor i think and i think he's a medical definitely he's in that uh, you know field of medical research he has decades of experience and this is a book which is a book mainly to understand how we age हमारी एज क्यों बढ़ती है एंड हाउ वी डाई आई नो एवरीबडी डाइज बट दिस बुक टॉक्स अबाउट द फॉर एग्जाम्पल टॉक्स अबाउट द वेरियस बिगेस्ट फैक्टर्स ऑफ डेथ इन द वर्ल्ड राइट लाइक हार्ट अटैक्स इज वन ऑफ देम कैंसर इज अनदर वन ऑफ देम यू नो हाई ब्लड प्रेशर डायबिटीज स्ट्रोक ब्रेन स्ट्रोक इज सम ऑफ दीज आर द टॉप फैक्टर्स ऑफ डेथ इन द वर्ल्ड दे विल अफेक्ट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल and what the book talks about is okay now how can we make sure that we can delay these things or not have these things how can we avoid heart attacks or how can we make sure ki we live a very long life before something really bad happens so that's the title is outlive live longer than uh, what you are normally thought you will live you know and kuch bade simple uh, lifestyle changes से आप अपनी लाइफ चेंज कर सकते हो एंड um, कुछ सिंपल दवाइयां भी हैं उसमें बट मोर देन द मेडिसिन दे आर सम टेस्ट ही टॉक्स अबाउट सम टेस्ट वी नीड टू डू फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम व्हेन यू आर वेरी यंग यू फील ये सब मेरे पे एप्लीकेबल नहीं है बट ही सेज कि एक्चुअली बाय द टाइम पीपल गेट अवेयर ऑफ देयर हेल्थ या मेडिकल टेस्ट वगैरह कराते हैं तब तक ऑलरेडी इट्स टू लेट देर ऑलरेडी टू ओल्ड एंड ही ऑल्सो टॉक्स अबाउट इमोशनल हेल्थ विच आई थिंक वॉज अ वेरी फैसिनेटिंग चैप्टर बिकॉज ही टॉक्स अबाउट हिज ओन इशूज विद एंगर एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट विच ही हैड एंड यू नो यू हैव टू रिजॉल्व द इमोशनल हेल्थ बिकॉज उसका भी फिजिकल हेल्थ से लिंक है ही टॉक्स अबाउट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग कॉन्सेप्ट कॉल हेल्थ स्पैन लॉट जस्ट लाइफ स्पैन ही सेड लाइक उम्र लंबी होगी तो उसका कोई फायदा नहीं है नो पॉइंट लिविंग लॉन्ग लाइफ इफ योर हेल्थ इज नॉट ओके लाइक लेट्स से यू आर इमोबाइल और यू आर कॉन्स्टेंटली सिक इवन इफ यू आर लिविंग टिल नाइनटी इट्स नॉट द सेम हेल्थ स्पैन इज वेर यू आर एबल टू डू थिंग्स यू वॉन्ट टू डू लेट्स से यू लाइक टू ट्रेवल एंड यू वॉन्ट टू बी एबल टू ट्रेवल देन योर हेल्थ स्पैन इज द एज एट विच यू कूड इजिली ट्रेवल टेक अ फ्लाइट ट्रेन वट एवर यू नो क्लाइम सम स्टेप्स कैच अ टैक्सी बस वट एवर इट इज सो दैट मे बी अप टू सेवेंटी फाइव और एट्टी और इट कैन रियली वेरी हाउ यू टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ एंड ही टॉक्स विद डेटा ऑन वॉट इज हैपनिंग वॉट इज द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ पीपल इफ दे ईट दिस और वॉट और दे एक्सरसाइज और स्लीप और इमोशनल हेल्थ एंड उससे कितने कितने ईयर्स आपकी लाइफ में फर्क आ सकता है कितना परसेंटेज फर्क आ सकता है सो इट्स अ बिग बुक नॉट द वेरी इजी रीड बिकॉज सर्टन पार्ट कैन गेट लॉट ऑफ मेडिकल टर्म्स बट that part is only 10 20% but overall the book is so fascinating and different from whatever i have read ki i would really recommend this book outlook the science and art of longevity book number 2 this is a very interesting and fun book and the title is called how to get rich how to get rich one of the world's greatest entrepreneur shares his secrets 
and the book is by Felix Dennis. Now, how to get rich is almost like a vulgar title, right? I mean, that's not something you say how to get, how to make money, how to get rich. The book ka title hota hai, succeed and reach your potential and all. But he's actually Jan ke gone straight into the point ke how to get rich, how do people get rich? And he, who is Felix Dennis? He was a, uh, you know, in the 80s and 90s, he was a publishing like magazine publishing uh, mogul you can say i don't know if you've heard of a magazine called maxim uh, that's one of his magazines but he had lots and lots of magazines he started online also so he's a billionaire and uh, he then retired and now he writes poetry and wrote this book which is almost a sarcastic book pehle in the beginning of the book first few chapter he says why you should not make money he says the problems in making money and the disadvantage of being rich and having money are also many and i i know they sound like a high class problem but it is some real problems he talks about and he says fir bhi agar aapne man banai liya hai paise banane ka fir bhi agar aapka dimag kharab hai aur aapko paise banane hai then this is the way if you still want to make money despite losing your mind then please this is the way and he basically talks about how you should manage your company equity people things like that it's interesting it's very easy to read and it's funny also and um, you know how to get rich one of the world's greatest entrepreneurs shares his secrets they are a little dated because his business were 1890s but the principles are the same the business he did you can't do that business today because magazines are not what they used to be as earlier but it's a good book how to get rich uh, book by felix dennis third book is called dopamine nation dopamine nation finding balance in the age of indulgence this book is by uh, Anna Lemke, who's again a doctor and in professor in uh, like a psych, like a, she's a professor doctor in um, a PhD in Stanford University, one of the top universities of the world. And she heads a laboratory there which studies addiction in people and all kinds of addiction, gambling, porn, video games. She even talks about a case where someone was addicted to water. I mean, you can actually get addicted to anything. It's quite scary. But certain things, obviously, you get addicted to very fast. And that's related to a secretion of a, a neurochemical called dopamine in the brain. Dopamine is something I've talked about many times in the past. Uh, dopamine fascinates me because that is the motivation chemical. More than the pleasure chemical, it's a motivation chemical in you. And if it's a motivational channel and if I want to go deep, then it's not just a motivation speech or an article, you have to understand how the brain works and how do you get that dopamine release. And Dopamine Nation talks about, obviously, cheap releases of dopamine, uh, things that make you addicted but are not necessarily helping with your motivation. Like, you are motivated to keep watching Instagram or keep watching porn, but it's not helpful motivation. It's not going to help you achieve goals in life. She gives lots of case studies. She talks about herself and her own addictions. She was addicted to romantic novels. It is a mind-altering book. I mean, really, it it just shook me up for days because I realized the addictions I've had in my life and I was not even aware of it. Like, you know, for example, sugar and things like that. So, Dopamine Nation, Finding Balance in Age of Indulgence, Anna Lemke, I, I think, fantastic book. Easy to read. Not that difficult to read this one. Fourth book I've read is uh, Mindset. The New Psychology of Success by Carol Dweck. Carol Dweck is a leading psychologist also, I think, in Stanford. And she is the basically inventor of the term growth mindset. And that comes through this book, basically mindset. What is a mindset? Just the way your brain organizes information and selectively looks at evidence. We are always seeing evidence for many things in life, right? Uh, supposing uh, you have a winning mindset, then you look for evidence when you did well in the past. You'll say, yeah, yeah, I won last 10 times, I will win again. But if you have a loser mindset, your brain will not ignore that winning data of the past and say, but that two times I lost, huh? I may lose again. What is happening? Your brain has a certain map, a way of thinking, and that's how it's thinking. And that's um, basically your mindset. But if it's, you have a growth mindset, you can keep performing better and better in life. She is amazing and she has had a big impact on the field of psychology, on how you should motivate people, how you should, um, like for example, she talks about if you praise people's effort, they do better than praising their intelligence. I know it sounds strange, but if you tell a child you're very intelligent, you're too good, yaar. 
it's actually going to harm his performance can you believe it even though you are praising because they will pressure to perform and then the moment they can't they get very nervous but if you praise someone's effort like you work damn hard man how much effort you put into this uh, it tends to make them do better that's some of the interesting um, findings which we didn't know of but it's a great book to uh, know more about the mindset and how it all works in our brain right we keep using the word mindset hai kya so i think that's a good book for that last book fifth book for today like i said I, there are many more i could have said but uh, it's called die with zero very small book by the way mindset is easy to read easy to read book not a very uh, tough read at all uh, final book die with zero it's called die with zero getting all you can from your money and your life it is a book by an author called bill perkins he is um, written a book which basically talks about how you should die with no money in the bank of course he says that's not possible ki you will time it exactly but you don't know when you are going to die but he says you must experience life to the fullest uh, you must save also but at the same time you must realize that life is finite let's say i want to do something let's say i like running for example my goals are running and i can't just say i'll keep working now working now working now now one day in life i'll retire and then i'll do all the running races i want because then i might be 80 years old and i can't run so if i have to bucket list item agar koi aisa item hai to run it should be like done by decade you should have a bucket list by decade bhaiya ye abhi karna i can still run that's why in fact this book has had an impact i i now go for races i'll run everywhere but like i like going to races it's a different thrill so i do some races all over the world and i had this dream ki i'll go to different parts of the world to do races i know it's a silly thing it's my thing but now i've prioritized it because today god's grace i can run so i want to go and do this so that's coming from die with zero uh, book by bill perkins very quick you can see uh, the books i talked about outlive art science and art of longevity how to get rich dopamine nation mindset and die with zero you don't have to read all of them but whichever one interests you the most maybe consider reading it the previews are anyway available on all online uh, site so you can maybe read the first few pages for free anyway and then decide if this is for you but yeah firstly overall keep reading guys reading is a good thing and reading is a great habit to have the knowledge you get from reading uh, you don't get from anywhere else right thank you for watching my video keep reading keep watching keep motivating yourself